Zach Bond, DeMarco Jackson, one of them has to step up this year. One of them has to step up this year. We know what DeMario Davis does. We know what Pete Werner does. The two of them are absolute dogs at linebacker. And I think for New Orleans, you feel great about that duo. What if one of them goes down? What the heck happens next? Last year, Pete Werner went down. And Caden Ellis stepped in. And Caden Ellis played so well, he earned himself a very nice contract from the Atlanta Falcons. And I tip my cap to him. He really revitalized the pass rush, played well off ball. And that is something that Caden Ellis had to get better at. When Caden Ellis got to New Orleans, they knew what he could do, kind of getting after the quarterback. What did he need to get better at? Needed to get better at playing off ball. And I think for New Orleans, they want to see what DeMarco Jackson, the former App State linebacker, who they drafted last year, what he can do off ball. Because this is a player in my mind that I think for the Saints can give them a little something. I'm going to just look at his, his, last year's in, his last year in college from App State. 119 total tackles, six sacks, 20 tackles for loss, an interception, forced fumble, and five pass breakups. The kid did it all at App State. It's finding a way to make him be an okay player at the NFL because you're going to need to rely on one of these two. And if you can't rely on one of these two between Zach Bond and DeMarco Jackson, guess what you got to do? You got to go into free agency and you got to grab a veteran who's been sitting on the open market for this whole offseason who probably won't provide you much. So I do think one of the sneaky stories of OTAs, one of the sneaky stories of the offseason that we need to hear more of, DeMarco Jackson versus Zach Bond, who is going to light that fire and be that third linebacker? Now, the Saints don't play a whole lot of three linebacker sets. But again, if DeMario gets hurt or if Pete Werner gets hurt, one of these guys might have their number called. And Zach Bond, I think, is fascinating. If Zach Bond played better off the ball, I think he'd be the no-brainer because I think Zach Bond knows how to get after the quarterback. And I think had the Saints done that more with Zach Bond, they probably got more success out of him, letting him get after the quarterback. But they didn't. That ship feels like it has sailed, but it's his final year in New Orleans coming up, and we'll see what happens there. So it could be him, but I would love to see what DeMarco Jackson can do because, like I said, this is a guy that stuffed the stat sheet at App State, and maybe this is it for him. Didn't play last year, pretty much a red shirt. We didn't hear much about him, especially injury-wise, what he was dealing with, but who knows? Maybe he can, and... I'm hoping to hear good things. I'm hoping to see good things from them because the linebacker spot is one of the few position groups on this team that I think the Saints are very, very paper thin at. And that is, that's a concern. So that's one thing I'm looking at in OTAs. 